Now, whenever you just drag that down, pretty much what's happening is Excel is going to guess what data you want to put in each row, in each cell. So it's going to guess the best it can. Sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't. One example that you may think, um, I don't know, I'll show you guys an example of when it doesn't get it right and when it does. Say that you had the number one in one of these cells, and um, if you select this, of course, let's autofill these. So this is two, three, four. Okay, Excel is pretty good at it. It did a good job with the days of the week. So let's select one, hover over this, click and drag, and just drag down a couple rows, release. Okay, so it didn't get it right that time, and that's because the way that it works is it kind of needs um, a pattern to begin with and it works with the algorithm to fill in the rest of that pattern so hit control and Z to undo and let's start giving it a pattern so one in this one we'll give it two in the cell below it now check this out select both of these cells by clicking in the cell C2 and then if you drag it'll select multiple cells so now we have C2 and C3 selected and even though that this is just a really simple pattern to begin with it is a pattern so now we can hover over this remember this is called the fill handle and drag down and check it out so that is auto fill with the fill handle but you know getting a little sidetracked here hit control Z control Z control Z and let's get back to our main example so a motorcycle is driving past my house right now so that's great you know in the middle of my tutorial alright so back to this so whenever we auto filled all of this in we have a little problem it's not really a problem but it's kind of a nuisance because Wednesday is a bigger word than I expected and it's kind of going into column B and I don't know it's just kind of annoying me so let's go ahead and resize column A to make it a little bit bigger to fit all of the data in this column. So we can resize this in one of two ways. If you hover your mouse between A and B, you see that your cursor changes from this fat plus sign to this line with a left arrow and a right arrow. This, whenever your cursor changes like that, it means that it's ready to resize a column. So click and drag, and as you can see, the column A resizes. So we can either just click this and say, okay, is that where we want it? Is it? Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Or a nice little tip is that if you ever double click whenever your cursor is like that, so hover between A and B and double click, it's going to resize it automatically to fit whatever content or whatever data is in that column. So I, I do that all the time. I uh, double click, double click, and then everything's um, fitted exactly where you want. So again, whenever it's resized improperly, either too big or too small, just double click in between those columns and it's going to fit it perfectly. So pretty cool. So we have one column taken care of, the days of the week. Let's go ahead and work on another column, B, right here. Now B is just going to resemble how many hot dogs I ate during that day. So I'm going to type in hot dogs, hit enter, looking good. So we'll say that on Monday I ate... Um, I ate four hot dogs. That sounds like a, you know, a good amount. Hit enter. And the cool thing about whenever you hit enter, it moves you directly to the next row. So that's kind of handy as well. So on Tuesday, I was feeling pretty good on Tuesday. Um, I kind of improved. I ate six hot dogs. Wednesday, I had a little stomach flu and uh, it kind of messed up my hot dog eating training. I only ate three. Thursday, we'll say that I ate seven. And Friday, after all my training during the week, I was able to eat nine hot dogs. I was ready for the contest during the weekend. So now we have two pieces of that. It's starting actually to look like something now. So the first thing I want to do is now that we got this taken care of is I want to make it more readable because look at it right now. It looks very um, dumb in my opinion. So let's go ahead and first let's bold the header right here. So I can select this one, go up to bold right here, click it, it'll bold and then do it with this one, bold, okay. You know what, that takes a while. And say that you had a header 
with like 20 different pieces of information in each cell, that's going to take a long time. So I'll show you guys a quicker way. I'm going to hold Control Z to undo both of those. If you ever want to bold or style an entire row at once, what you can do is you can set, select it by clicking on the row number. So I'm going to click on the row number, I'm going to hit bold, and that's going to bold every single cell in that row. Now you can also do it with columns, say that you wanted to italicize everything in the A column, just select the column A, hit italics, and there you go. Now I actually don't want, that was just an example, so I'm going to hit control Z, undo it, and right now it's looking pretty good. I mean, okay, I got all the information exactly where we wanted it. Um, let's see, my headers or the column titles are bolded, but I don't know. It just needs like a little more pizzazz, and I wish that there was a really easy way to style all of the data at once. Well, guys, you are in luck because that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. So select all of your data even the titles of each column and if you go to insert table what this is gonna do is it's gonna say okay where is the data for your table well we just selected it so we're good to go and also say my Tabor oh, Tabor what the heck is a Tabor my table has headers pretty much saying that you have titles on each column so hit OK and check this out it auto styled it not only your headers but also your entire table as well now by default you also have a bunch of different styles or themes that you can go with if you hover over one it's going to give you a nice little preview so whenever you click one it actually sets it so I'm just gonna click this one right here and that's pretty much just gonna set the styling for your data so pretty cool you can either style it manually like I just showed you or use tables to style your entire set of data really quick. Now again, like I said, this is just kind of a beginning demonstration these first couple of videos to show you what Excel is capable of. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to break up everything piece by piece and show you guys all the things that you can do with tables and all the different ways that you can style everything manually. But just to show you guys one last cool thing of um, what Excel is in a like pretty much what it's capable of in a really easy fashion is this if you ever want to make a chart and you want to make one just really quick what you can do is this select all of your data just like you did with the table and select insert recommended charts now what this does is it says okay with the data you have selected I'm gonna give you a quick and dirty option for a chart so what option do you want this one right here it's called a cluster column people typically might refer to it as a bar chart this one a line chart pie or a stacked area um, some people call this a filled line one but I like this one right here I think it looks the best so I'm just gonna select the line hit OK and boom check it out so in a matter of minutes not only did we fill in the exact data that we wanted but we styled it it looks good we have a chart you can see my hot dog eating ability through the week and uh, well as you can see Excel is already giving us a bunch of different options of how you can quickly and easily perform awesome calculations on this data so that is kind of I don't know me throwing everything like a bunch of examples at you just so you can see how cool it is in the upcoming videos I'm gonna be taking things a little bit slower getting into everything a little bit deeper and well it's going to be awesome but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video